good morning spirit fam it is thursday august 5th and i am going to be making a video today um, regarding the lion's gate portal but a lot of you either listen to my oracle messages and don't see the tiktok videos i make or the opposite you get to see the TikTok videos they make and don't listen to the Oracle messages, which is perfectly fine. But I want to get this out there everywhere because I think it's very important and valuable information for all of us to know right now. So I went ahead and collected um, information from like six different videos and six different websites. So I have just about anything and everything that you could possibly need to know right now. So let's go through it. We're going to find out what is the Lion's Gate portal? How can we use it? We're going to find out the symptoms, what this is a time for us to do, and um, what you can do to work with this energy. So starting off, the Lion's Gate portal is 8-8 August 8th, which is this Saturday, which is also the same day as the new moon in Leo. So what is it? Well, it is a cosmic alignment. Um, it's an initiation and a special or heightened time. Now, this also exists in Christianity. I'm not going to get too heavy into the religious aspect, but um, if you are big into Christianity, you might know um, half of the story of the Lion's Gate portal. So, what's going on is there's an alignment of two suns. Our sun and the star Sirius, which is our spiritual sun. It's um, a higher dimensional sun. This is, we're talking about a multi-dimensional view of the cosmos where our sun is aligning with the star Sirius, again, which is, which is, um, it's our higher sun. Um, this is called transfiguration in Christianity. And what this means is you become imbued with a higher dimensional energy of yourself and your spirit. You're taking on more light and more energy at this point. And again, this is the transfiguration of Christ. So that's the last that I'm going to talk about it in um, any sort of religious aspect. Now, what I think is super interesting is that the Egyptians were very in tune with the star Sirius. And they believed that it carried advanced wisdom when the star was rising. This is a highly charged and a highly spiritual time. And um, it's a, a powerful galactic moment. It's a celestial and a physical alignment between Earth and the cosmic galactic bodies. And at the peak, Earth directly lines up with the galactic center, the star Sirius, and Orion's belt. Now, the alignment happens exactly in the locations of the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. So, obviously, you know, the Egyptians really saw this as a very powerful spiritual time, and they were right. <laughs> of course, we all know that Egyptians are like crazy, um, smart aliens or something from another planet. But this is a massive energy portal when these um, align up like that, and it's at its peak on the 8th. But we're still working our way up to that energy, so there's a lot of shifts going on now. So let's talk about that. Um, but 8-8 is a huge day on the cosmic calendar. The energy right now, and even from like the last week of July, like the 26th, leading right up into now, the energy is beginning to escalate and ramp up. And it's leading up to this time when this portal opens and several things are going to happen. One of the major impacts is that the shift is linked to the, the pine pineal gland. <laughs> I cannot talk to the pineal gland. So this is your third eye. We're talking about third eye activation, awareness and opening. And when you notice this happens, you need to be still. And by doing this, you're literally going to feel the universe and a force greater than you or I. And you're going to start to realize that you can connect with it if you haven't been already. This is an initiation period for all of us, for every single one of us. This is a powerful energy. And leading up to this energy right now, like I said, until it peaks on the 8th. So this is a good time to be bold to set brave intentions and manifestations. Make use of this energy to activate and upgrade your spiritual energy. We are literally being beamed by cosmic high vibrational photons. 
that are increasing our vibration at a rapid speed. Now, this means things are speeding up. This is not a patient energy. This is a forceful energy. We are all being energetically called to energetically align to our highest timelines right now. And to do that, we must let go of old ways of thinking and um, things that no longer serve us. So what is this a time for? What is going to be happening to us right now? This is a time of spiritual awakening and third eye openings. We are talking massive global spiritual awakenings and third eye activations. Potent downloads from our spiritual self. You might be receiving constant downloads lately and they're going to get even stronger. You could be getting possible visitations in dream space from higher dimensional beings. Increased creativity to move our higher purpose um, work forward in a really big way. Past visions surfacing in your memory. Activated light codes that will raise the consciousness of the planet, guys. This is huge. Great manifestation potential. And where this is happening on the new moon, if you guys have not um, set intentions on the new moon, now is the time to start with this powerful Lionsgate portal energy. So this is also a time to clear any blockages, to bring self-awareness and transmute old fears, and to develop inner strength by becoming empowered by this heightened intuition. I am so excited. So what are some of the symptoms of um, this activation and this awakening and this higher consciousness? Again, this could have started the last week of July, um, leading right up until the 8th this Saturday. So right now we're really like getting to the height of it. You could be experiencing breakdowns and breakthroughs, um, a, a ringing in the ears, which is one that I've been having a lot. Um, just a sense, an overall sense of things shifting in your life. Uh, there could be a feeling of uncertainty or of self-doubt and anxiety or fear or paranoia because your ego doesn't really know what's going on. There's all these massive shifts and changes going on. So there's a higher likelihood of psychic attack. So very important to be protecting your energy right now. You could be having self-power battles. Um, there's um, disturbed sleep patterns, restlessness, insomnia, tiredness. You might be experiencing that. Highly active and vivid dreams. Astral projection, interdimensional awareness and hopping. So if you're interested in that, you could just be having overall strange experiences, whether they're spiritual, paranormal, or even extraterrestrial, guys. There's just like some major stuff going on. A lot of strange stuff. It's exciting though. Old wounds and emotions are going to be coming to the surface and this is also amplified with Chiron in retrograde like we talked about um, last week, a couple weeks ago. You could be feeling depressed, overwhelmed, or just overall having trouble coping right now. So if you are, know that it is, you know, there is a method to the madness, there's a reason to it and just try to embrace this energy that I'm explaining to you because it's going to really help you through this time. You could be questioning your purpose or your role in life, as well as how you spend your time and who you surround yourself with. So this stuff could be coming to mind, as well as wanting to find more about your meaning and your purpose. Um, during this time, you could be feeling rejected. You could be having um, some separation issues, loneliness, or just overall feeling left out. There's going to be amplified inner child issues and healing as well as self-forgiveness. So again, embrace this energy. You could be going through negativity and lack mentality. And again, know that it's not just you. You're not the only one going through this. We're talking about um, another symptom is unexplained unwellness. So overall, if you're just feeling unwell and you can't put your finger on it, it may be directly connected to this Lionsgate portal opening. So there's powerful activations. You're going to be having a lot of ups and downs, a lot of roller coaster um, emotions and feelings this week and then possibly last. 
um, enhanced psychic awareness. So if you do have psychic abilities, um, whether you know it or not, you could be um, experience enhanced psychic awareness, messages and information downloads. I know personally, I've been getting a lot of downloads. And again, this is um, a great time where we're all going to be clearing, transmuting and transformation. So tra transforming. So it's pretty incredible. What can you do with this energy? With all of these things we just talked about, a lot of them don't sound that great, right? So what can we do about them? First of all, stay strong, solid, and grounded. Think of Leo the lion. Think of this lion energy. Say, Stay strong. Look after your energy during this time. We're talking about um, heightened psychic attacks and just an overall um, just messing with our energy. So it's really important for us to protect your energy right now. If you want more suggestions on how you can do that, go ahead and message me. I've talked about it in other videos. I'm not going to get too much into it today. But um, looking after your energy, protecting your energy during this time is going to be huge. Clear your chakras and focus on your solar plexus your third eye, and your heart chakras, okay? And know that some level of you is being prepared and activated, even if it's on a subconscious level. Nurture yourself during this time of change. Remember, we talked about self-forgiveness. Nurture yourself during this time. Welcome in this fire energy and allow it to do what it needs to do in order for your transformation to take place. Become an open vessel by letting things go and not holding on to them. Then you're going to be an open vessel to allow new energy in. Seek stillness and quiet. This can be meditation or mindful breathing. Explore the truths that are waiting to just burst through you. Explore these truths. Connect with your angels, guides, and ancestors during this time and ask for guidance um, forge your connection with spirit, continue to always forge that connection with spirit, or if this is new to you, it's a great time to begin your connection with spirit. Now create a sacred plate, a, a sacred space. I think this is very important, or you can um, make some adjustments to yours. I was thinking about maybe changing my altar cloth or just kind of uh, moving some stuff around. I want to get not necessarily a line, but I want to get some of that Leo line energy in here. So I'm going to work on that um, between now and Saturday. So sit in the sun for five minutes a day. It seems small, but this is huge. This is also going to help you stay healthy and stay grounded. And then the opposite of staring is being in the sun for five minutes a day. Gaze at the stars in the night sky. Forge a connection with star beings. And um, that's so amazing to me because I love Lemurians. You know that I'm obsessed with um, Lemurian star seed crystals. I love the whole star people and um, star beings. So this is a great time to forge a connection with them. Align with these energies as you activate and grow and know that this is what is happening, okay? Stay open and aware and develop your intuition. This is a great time to start trusting yourself and develop your intuition. Trust and allow it to happen. Let it all flow. Journaling. This is a great time for journaling, guys. Um, drink plenty of water. I know it sounds silly, but this is something if you don't regularly do right now, you should start to make this a part of your daily life. Start, you know, with one bottle, work your way up so many ounces, drink plenty of water. And then also get creative and get inspired wherever you feel drawn, wherever you feel drawn. Now is the time to really harness this creative and inspirational energy. Now the older 3D human was stuck in the first three chakras, yet the 5D human is heart-centered. So all choices and decisions are going to be made from the heart and that deep inherent wisdom within you right now. So intuition is what we're going to be using and focusing on instead of listening to the mind. So this is really important. That's why I was saying third eye chakra is something that we should be working on solar plexus and then heart. Okay. Many of us have soul work to do, which generally entails service to others. And we all have unique gifts that we're meant to share. Now, the question is, have you shared your soul purpose and are you ready to take things to the next level? Now, lastly, guys, expect major spiritual growth right now. Spiritual rebirth, love, growth, new blessings, joy and prosperity. 
negative karma from the past will be restored and cleared. We've had enough of lessons for now. You know, we've been doing so much, so many lessons for all of us over the last six months or however long. And right now it's time to clear any blockages and just align with our higher selves and with the universe. It's a very exciting time. I didn't even know about it until last week. So I'm very excited. So again, are you seeing lions everywhere? Are you seeing 8-8 eight, eight everywhere? These are signs from your guides and from spirit telling you to pay attention to this energy, this powerful energy, and um, to, to make it a part of your life right now. I think that would be great if we could all just really embrace, open up, learn more about it, and become a part of it. You know, this planetary rise in consciousness is, is awesome. So again, I am a life path coach. I am a transformational coach. Um, shoot me a message if you have any questions. If you're going through a tough time, you need help working through some stuff or just help aligning with this energy, definitely reach out to me. I would absolutely love that. All right, so let's jump into today's message. Today we have the crown. And the keywords are mastery, victory, accomplishment, status, and transcendence. The incantation is, I am the ruler of my emotions and my dreams. You are the ruler of your emotions. We've been talking about that a lot lately. All the work I have done up to this moment is starting to show in my skills. I am beginning to master how I use them and how I share them. My emotional maturity is in alignment with where I am headed. The confidence I need is becoming alive and new beliefs are taking form. I am not fooled by challenging days and the moments when I question myself. If I didn't do that, life would be conquered in one day. It is normal to feel what I feel. Guys, I want you to start saying that to yourself more often. It is normal to feel what I feel. It takes time to build security, but the security that is coming to me now is real and safe and it will continue to grow and become unwavering. I am accessing wonderful things in this lifetime. No matter how big or small my dreams are, they are a reflection of my essence. My ideas and the movement behind them impact people positively. I am brave when I choose to share my insights and see where it takes me. I lead my life in a healthy, thoughtful way that inspires others as I achieve my dreams. I love this so much, guys. Straighten your crown today because you are the king or the queen in your show, in your life. And then we also have, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. And I think this is so perfect leading up to this Lionsgate portal because we really are all, whether you know it or not, it's subconscious or consciously, we really are doing whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness, to higher consciousness as a planet. Um, it's, it's very exciting time. And if you need help, like I said, um, learning how to become closer in to your consciousness, to your higher consciousness, definitely reach out to me. And I would love for you guys to all leave a comment. How is this Lionsgate portal energy affecting you? Have you been noticing it already towards the last month of July? Are you feeling it today? Um, how do you plan to harness this energy? I'm excited to hear what you have to say. All right, guys. So that is it for today. Love, light, and blessings. Have a super awesome day, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.